How's it going everybody? Corbin here from Zoco Marketing. In today's video, I'm going to be showing you how to install the Pinterest Pixel uh, onto your website through Google Tag Manager. Um, Pinterest has made this really easy, Google Tag Manager, the integration that they have has made it really easy. So um, we're gonna jump right in on how to do this. Um, first, actually before I do, why you would want to do this is because uh, this is the first step you'll want to take if you want to run ads on Pinterest. Um, the conversion events allow you to know when the ads are actually working and when they're not. If you don't install this, uh, this, this tag on to your website and you start running Pinterest ads, you'll basically be flying blind. So um, something that's very important to do, and now I'm going to show you how to set that up. So the first thing you wanna do is come over to your Pinterest account, and then you're gonna see you have this um, ads tab. You're gonna come to conversions, and then it's gonna take you to the tab that I'm on um, currently right here. Sorry, I shouldn't have clicked it because now it's gonna load up. But um, And as you can see, we're in the tag manager uh, little tab and you're going to scroll down here. And if you haven't had your tag, uh, set up, you're going to see the exact same screen that I see here. If you already have one set up, then you'll see something different that says like uh, name of pixel and then, uh, something on that side of there and you can verify your tag, but we're actually going to need to install this. So we're going to come over here and we're going to get started to use an integration partner. And the first one you're going to see here is Google tag manager, which is awesome. Uh, now I do have a video on how to install this through Shopify. If you are on a Shopify store, you'll want to follow that tutorial. Um, I'll link it right here and then down below as well. Um, make sure to go check that out. But we're gonna talk about Google Tag Manager for here. So we're gonna click on this and then it's gonna walk you through some steps on how to actually do this. So we're gonna hit next and then we're going to relaunch. And what this is gonna do is it's going to connect to your Google Tag Manager account. Uh, uh, so essentially choose the email that uh, has your Google, that is linked to your Google Tag Manager. So, and then it's gonna ask for a, a few different permissions here. We're gonna allow, allow, and then allow wait for this to load up. Once again, it's important that it's the same email that you use for Google Tag Manager and for the Pinterest account. We're gonna allow these permissions. Um, you need publish Google Tag Manager container, manage your container, and then uh, hit allow. Now we're gonna wait for this to load up. And then here's the account, this Pinterest account, the container that I want to, it to be inside of. So this is what you have it named inside of your Google Tag Manager account. So you'll notice that the, here is the container name and then it's pulling in the container house to home DIY.com. Uh, so then we're gonna hit next. And then I'm just gonna call this Pinterest tag and then I'm going to, I would just like to name it the account name as well. So we're gonna put that. Oh, I can't have the parentheses. So we're just gonna do this then. Not even allow that, okay. Um, and then we're gonna hit install tag. And once this loads up, um, congratulations, your tag is now successfully added. So super easy to do inside of this option through this integration directly. We're gonna hit done now. And what we're gonna do is I'm gonna show you how to test this event. So um, there are a couple of different ways. The first one is, um, it says it may take up to 10 minutes to verify your tag. Let's try this real quick. We're gonna come over here to test events. And then um, your tag isn't received. We're gonna set complete tag setup. Oh yeah, so it's gonna it's gonna wait a few minutes before we have this option. So while we're waiting for this option, I'm gonna show you the other way on how to um, test this. And we're gonna go over to um, Google. And we're gonna type in Pinterest um, uh, tag helper. I'm gonna click on that, <clears throat> and we are going to add this to Chrome. Wait for that, add it up there, along with the other million extensions that I have. And as you see, it added up there, and then we need to actually pin it uh, right there, pin it up. And then, so now we have it showing in our Google Chrome tab. Now we're gonna go to our website. We're gonna let this load up real quick. And then we are going to, um, Click on that. And as you can see here, we already have one firing, which means that the tag is already is probably already inside of there. So no tag issues or warnings found, which is good. We have a green little check mark. And then the event was initialized successfully. So the Pinterest tag is now firing on our website correctly, which is exactly what we need it to do. So now uh, that's confirmed. That's one way to confirm it. The other way is coming back over to Pinterest. We can see if this now um, gives us the option to use their test feature event. And there it is. So now uh, we've, it's been like two or three minutes. Now we can go through and actually add our website. And I'm just gonna go through, copy this, add it there, launch.
wait for this site to load up here. And then we come back over to Pinterest and we give it a second, give it a second. And there is the tag firing correctly. And it's source is through Google Tag Manager. And that is how you install the uh, Pinterest pixel onto your website. If you want to learn how to run Pinterest ads um, and actually set up a full campaign from the beginning to the end, I will have a, I do have a full tutorial out right now. Um, feel free to click anywhere on the screen. I think I'll have it um, showing up inside of there or down below in the description. Uh, go check out those videos if you want to learn how to run Pinterest ads and uh, we'll see you in the next video.